I could read the signs. Windhaven Plaza. No way! <laughs> It is an early, early morning at the Bucket household. I'm already ready for the day. The kids are already ready for the day. Daddy's already ready for the day because we have to drop Tatum off at school, go to dad's post-surgery appointment, drop the twins off at school, and then go to my dermatologist appointment. So we got a lot going on and we're gonna take you guys along with us. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Mr. Lincoln. Mama's wearing a dress and it is, <laughs> it is so cold. It's gotta be at least 75 degrees outside. No. Weather in Murphy, Texas. We should talk about her seriously, yeah. 37. <laughs> 37 degrees and she's wearing no pants. Pants are optional. <laughs> so one day post-op, here's what my eyes look like. They're still blue. Blue? They changed colors. Um, it looks like I'm crying a little bit because I am. I think it's just so sad. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, it hurts to have my eyes in the sunlight or look up. Only because they're kind of dry, so I took my tears with me and <laughs> we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to go somewhere glorious! We are going to go and get Daddy's eyes looked at and then... I have a dermatologist appointment. I am a very moly person, TMI, but I'm very, very moly. And I went a couple years ago and ended up going to a doctor that didn't use health insurance. It was all like you had to pay self-pay. I call that <laughs> questionable. Yeah, I mean. And it was gonna be like $2,500 to get a couple moles, <laughs> a couple moles removed. So I ended up not doing it and now I think eight years later, I'm going back. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Oh, it's getting a little bit warmer in here, guys. Ooh, my butt's starting to feel on fire. So if you're still considering LASIK, I'll let you know how it looks later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we dropped Tatum off and now we just arrived at our second location, which is Louis's post-op appointment. He is about 10 minutes early. Louis just went into this Kroger and he said they didn't have anything fresh, but if you guys have never tried these, they're called Cherry Bites. They're so yummy. And they didn't have a Starbucks, so next best thing. I can see everything. <laughs> can you? Uh huh. I can see perfectly. I can see style floors, Palm Beach town. This lady right here, I see all of her hair, which would normally be like puff and just blur. I'd be like, that lady's wearing a blur. Oh, she. Can. I can. She has. I can see she has spent hours in the tanning bed. Yep. And she probably owns. I that could read more. Pinsky. I could read the signs. Windhaven Plaza. No way! Babe, those are huge letters. Would you have never been able to read it? I wouldn't have been able to read Parkway Tavern and Grill. No? Uh-uh. So were you nearsighted or farsighted? Well, thanks for um, saying that you know me for 10 years. I get nearsighted. I can't see far. See, that's what threw me off. Nearsighted means that you can only see near. Oh. Sight, my sighting is near. Oh. But it, over the years it became nearer and nearer so I could like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we stayed in the car while daddy had his appointment. So Mr. Mister is just in the front seat with me. He just had milky and just spit up all over his outfit. So yeah, hashtag spit up life. 
So now we're just gonna hang out and wait for daddy to get out and then we have to drop the twins off at school and come right back over this way. What do you see out the window? Do you have spit up on your lip? Yes, you do. Boop. 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 Hey. <laughs> Did I scare you? It's too bright. He's like, what mom? It's bright. I can't believe that Louie can already like see. That's so crazy to me. Yay, I'm so happy for him. I wonder how the follow-up went. There he comes. How was it? I can almost see 2010. Are you serious? Yeah, I could see far. And she's like, it'll probably only get better just because she's like, wow, you could see 2020. She's like, you see 2015. Those doing the lines. She's like, you can almost read 2010. She's like, there's still probably a little haze. And uh, is 2010 better than 2020? Yeah, it's even further. What were you before? I could see like the big E, and that was blurry. Remember how the E is? Yeah, like, started that was blurry. Oh, wow, yeah. that's awesome! Yeah, so. We are at the twins school now daddy is inside dropping them off and then we need to stop by the house for a couple seconds I need to pick something up and then we're headed to Frisco for a dermatologist appointment I'm gonna get all of my moles checked. I literally have so many moles all over my body I'm gonna let you guys know the reason I am going is one of my dear friends dear dear friends had a mole on the back of her arm and she had it removed they tested it it came back stage two melanoma cancer they actually had to go in and remove that margin and then also they removed her lymph nodes under her arm to check to see if it had moved to her lymph nodes and unfortunately it has in one area one lymph node had four tumors in it so they're doing more testing she just has so much unknown right now that it is super scary for her with all of that happening I have put this off for eight months getting my body checked and now it's time it is literally time to get all my moles checked I definitely do have some sketchy areas that need to be looked at so I'm glad to be getting this done I was gonna go by myself but I feel like in a time like this you really need someone that's there for you what if she used to tell me these areas look really weird and I don't know what that would do to me emotionally so I I need my rock and my rock is my husband and there he is let's go get him you ready yep Nicole complains about how close I hold the camera up to my face so I just want to tell you guys that uh, this is the first time that I could take my glasses off and like be standing a, a you know a distance from the mirror and be able to see my own eyes that without context because when I see my eyes with contacts I can tell the contact so it's the little things in life it's the little things in life that make it really really worthwhile Tatum said yesterday when we were at the doctors dad are you getting this done because you looked at the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse or the <laughs> what was it that was it the lunar eclipse oh yeah yeah he's like is dad getting this done because he looked at the lunar eclipse? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I have healthy eyes. In fact, that probably helped them be healthier. That's why I went from my minus 2.75 oh. to minus 2. All right, we are back in the car. I'm waiting for Louie. He had to do a couple emails. Uh, cold water is my absolute favorite. It has to have ice. It cannot be like lukewarm. It can't be hot. <sighs> okay, we are on the way in a couple minutes. Baby, you know I love it when the music 
here at my dermatologist appointment. We are in Frisco. I will let you know what they say. We'll try to record some in there for you guys. It is cold here today. Oh. What are you doing? Are you with mommy at the doctor? Yes. Yes. Oh, eat the blankie. Stay warm. Stay warm. Did we bring your Sophie? No, Tofi. No, Tofi. <laughs> I got this guy trying to wiggle free. Are you feeling mums? <laughs> 20 minutes later. Okay, guys, I just got checked and I got four moles to be biopsied. They recently came up in the last year and she did say that pregnancy can induce moles to come and pop through and so they are weird shaped so we are going to biopsy them and then get them checked and the results should be back in about 7 to 10 days so we're going to head out of here and get dressed. Look at my little outfit of the day. Hey. Hey guys, we are back home. It has been probably an hour since getting back home. I'm going to head to the grocery store to pick a couple things up for dinner tonight. Baby Lincoln's sleeping, daddy's working, and then after the grocery store, I'm gonna pick the twins up. But I just wanted to show you my mole situation. I had four moles removed, three on my chest, well, one kind of right here, two on my chest, and then one on my back. The one on my back, was just removed for kind of, uh, I don't even know what it's called. What is it called, babe? I don't wanna say cosmetic reasons. It's more of like, it gets in the way. It's right on my bra strap. Every time I wear my bra, it actually rubs on that mole. So they just removed that. So my three on my chest, actually need to be looked at. So I'm just going to show you, they biopsied them, so they just took off the first layer um, of the mole. They're going to run a pathology report to see if it has any like benign or cancerous or all of that jazz. I don't know the lingo, but she talked to us about it. And so I'm going to show you them. The first one is right here. It is above my belly button. And you are supposed to leave the band-aid on for the first day and wash it one to two times a day okay so this is what it looks like they just numbed it and then took it off so that one is on my belly you can see my belly buttons right there so it's a little bit up the next one is right here I'm not gonna take that down but I'm just gonna show you guys, it's right here. And then the other one is right here on the side of my boob. Now she did say sometimes being pregnant, it can produce moles or make moles come up. I don't remember the actual lingo, but I'm thinking that that's when these three came because they are kind of new in the last year. I'm glad they took them off and I should have the results in seven to 10 days and I will definitely let you guys know. But for now, I'm going to head to the grocery store. Much later. Okay, I am making dinner in the kitchen. We are having burritos tonight. And while I cook, I have a couple of minutes while it heats up a little bit. So Tatum is going to read me his it's cook. Called, okay. I'm reading this. It's called, Well is Nat. Well is Nat. Nat is not in the tin. Nat is not in. Good job. Well, is Nat? Nat is not in the tin. Good job. Mm, wow. Matt. 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 Good job. Mommy. I know I have to read all the okay. things. Mommy. Mm. At Matt, Matt, not in, in now, Pam, Tim. Good job! My little boy is learning how to read. Lincoln, bean. Can you grab it? Bean. You see? Look, bean. Right there. 
Is that not only will I grab it? I'm gonna squish it. <laughs> Did he get it? Oh. Bean. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He's like trying to pick it up. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> it's a jumping bean. <laughs> the bean. His hands are too big. <laughs> big hand problems. <laughs> When I was growing up in school, they called me man hands. Oh, I'm just Because my hands are so big. Yeah. I'm self conscious about them. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Dad, did you know Tatum read a book to me today? Yeah, uh -huh. he read me one too. Oh Run my to back. I would do the same one. A few inches later. Dad was singing this song called Oh, Fill It Up, <laughs> and then we were supposed to say, Oh, let it overflow. And so I came up with, I fill my pants up. And then I let it overflow. I fill my pants up. I let it overflow. I fill my pants up. I let it overflow. I fill my pants up. I let it overflow. I fill my pants up. You are the cutest laugher. I love you so much.